so hello again in this video we are going to discuss the problem grid reconstruction so it says that we are given a two cross n grid where n is a even number and we have to place one numbers from 1 to 2 n exactly once and we have to find a particular arrangement of these numbers so that this particular value is as maximum as possible if we move from this array in any direction or from any path and a path consists of you have to start from this 1 1 index and in each particular path you can either move to left to right or down and you have to reach this n comma this is 2 comma n so there are n such paths so first is suppose so first is this path right the second is this path third is this path fourth is this fifth is this and last one is going towards straight and then down at last so we have total in such paths where in each path we are taking a down path from each of the zeroth row right so we will move towards the explanation now so we have to make such arrangement such that the if we get a cost c1 c2 if we get cn such cost so the minimum of this suppose it is cm so we have to maximize this cost so how we can approach this problem so first we will take for n is equal to 6 so there will be 6 such columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 2 such rows right and we have defined the core means the coins or cost for each path is suppose we go from a1 then a2 to a n then cost is a1 minus a2 plus a3 that is plus minus plus minus up to all this will be our cost right so suppose we name these cells as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay so for first path which will go from this means first it will take down and then right so this will have value a1 minus a7 plus a8 minus a9 plus a10 minus a11 plus a12 right so for next path it will go from a1 a2 and then a8 a1 then a2 then a8 then all will be similar right so you can skip this part so because it will take a lot of time to write this so in the next path it will go from a1 then a2 then a3 and the remaining will be same so next it will go to a4 so this will be the equation 
it is a3 a4 it will be the similar next it will go to a5 remaining will be similar and at last it will go to a6 i think 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 a6 yeah it is right a1 then a2 then a3 then a4 then a5 then a6 and then a12 sorry for the mistake it is 12 so now so there are n such option there are six options and each will give some cost to us right so we don't know what the cost but we have to make such arrangement of this or such value so that the minimum cost is maximized in other words the all will have cost as maximum as possible so here we can see one observation for each for each such paths a1 and a12 are always there right and each are having positive value and we have to arrange from 1 to 2n numbers so why not give 2n and 2n minus 1 to a1 and a12 because it has positive value and in each path it is included right now we can see here a1 is included till this much part and a2 is included in this much part with a negative value right so why not give minimum value to these numbers right so a11 it is here so minimum is 1 and a6 is also a minimum number so what we can do we can give minimum number as a a11 and a6 as minimum because it's a negative value and this is a2 and a7 this is a2 and a7 next minimum value are 3 and 4 so we will give 3 to a7 and 4 to a2 right so this much are over so now here a10 and a3 are positive value so why not give the maximum value we are remaining that is 2n minus 2 and here it is also positive that is a10 and a5 so this will be 2n minus 2 and this is 2n minus 3 and a3 and a8 this will be 2n a3 should be prioritized because it is arriving in more number of paths so giving maximum value to this will be our optimal choice so a3 will be 2n minus 4 and it will be 2n minus 3 so remaining are these two values that is this is done a9 which is a negative value and a4 so we are done with 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we can give 5 and 6 to anyone 
basically if you try to draw our main observation what we get from this is if we have 2 into n grid first we get here is that we should put 2n at first and 2n minus 1 at last we can interchange this both because these two are included in on all such paths later on what we have to do we have to place the minimum value to this square and these four squares so we can put one two three four next we are putting the maximum value in the next inner square right so we can put maximum value that is 2n minus 2 so this will be included 2n minus 2 2n minus 3 2n minus 4 2n minus 5 so this much part is done so we have to follow this step we have to start from this these two particular blocks and assign the minimum value then this four square the maximum value then again next to four square the minimum value and so on and at last we will be remaining two such squares and in this we have to put the remaining values whatever it is remaining so this was all about the intuition the remaining code part you have to do on your own but the main idea behind solving such questions is this how to assign the numbers so i will show you the code so it is very toxic code if you try to find it you will not be able to understand because it took me a lot of time so the best way you should try of your own so i will show i will tell you what i have done i have taken input and created a vector and first i have initialized the 2n and 2n minus 1 to the starting and ending index and i have initialized the minimum value as 1 and maximum values as 2n minus 2 and i have make a boolean array okay if it is uh, assigning of minimum value or assigning of maximum value so if it is assign, assigning of minimum value at first it, it is assigning of minimum value so i am assigning the these two squares last squares the minimum value and in, increasing the minimum value and then assigning the minimum value to the left one otherwise if it is uh, putting the numbers of maximum value i am assign, assigning the maximum value and decreasing the maximum value and at last when there are uh, uh, numbers this case when two cells are empty we have to put the numbers at that cell and i am printing the matrix at end so this was all about the solution of this problem you should try to implement this code on your own so that your implementation part will be crystal clear so thank you for watching the video